Do you know where your family is from? Or at least every branch of your family? Neither, I don't know the tree and I'm not familiar with a lot of it. I think it's a bush. Well, if not me, the Wood County District Public Library actually might be able to help. Thank goodness, because we have Kelsey Nevius here with me to explain, okay, what's going on? My bush is probably a tree, it might be a twig. <laughs> I don't know, how, what can you guys do? Sure, so you can find out, like you said, at mm -hmm. the library. So we have this new uh, Discovering Your Family Tree series in partnership with the BGSU Center for Archival Collections. Um, so very, very happy and excited for that partnership. You get twice the resources in the same program. So it's a four part series. The first one we already did last week. The next one is on October 16th. Okay. Um, throughout the series, you'll get to learn about your family tree or your family bush, whatever Ma it is, family <laughs> sprig on, who knows. Uh, you'll get to learn about that, anything you want to research, any help that you need, um, and going through cataloging what all research you find, what you can do with it. Um, and again, getting that necessary help from those really nice professionals, both at the library and at the Center for Icar Archival Collections. Archival Collections. I know, it's a, it's yes. a mouthful. We have to say it with the PBS term. <laughs> Archival Collections. Now, with that, so do I need to have stuff already done? Should I just know, or can I literally go in and just go, where do I start? Absolutely. You can go in and say, I'm a beginner. Mm -hmm. I am just looking to see what I can find. We can help you there. If you're a little more advanced, you already have some stuff available, or you have some, like a scrapbook, or a newspaper clipping, and I want to find more out more about this, mm -hmm. you can bring that in. We can help you with that as well. So really bridges all of the skill gaps that we have available in our community. And of course, like I said, two for one. So you get both resources from both places. So a two for usually costs me a three for amount of money. Uh, <laughs> how much is this going to you know, hurt my pockets? You know absolutely free. Uh -huh, you know, know this. <laughs> At the library, everything is free. Everything is free. With your library card. Of course, to so get your library card. <laughs> Why is it important that you guys offer things like this? I mean, because we could Google, right? I think sure. it would, but I don't know if I just typed in Tatiana <laughs> and if everybody would pop up. Sure, sure. So I, one of a big, like a big part of our mission is to discover. Mm -hmm. And I think that's such a core concept, both to this series and to us as our mission for the library. Um, that sense of discovery that you get in looking into your past or looking into maybe your house or looking into your grandparents' past, um, finding out where you come from or finding out another just you know, really fun fact about your family or your history or the community's history. Um, discovering that and, and kind of sitting with my coworkers and talking to a lot of people, the little, oh, oh, I just found this. Oh, this is exciting that everyone gets the little twinkle in their eye and the little gasp of shock. Um, that is always amazing to hear around the library. Um, and it's just something we foster. So this program, of course, just fits right into that mission. I just want to be like, oh, and I'm actually a duchess and the other family is <laughs> oh somewhere else. Oh my gosh. I am <laughs> Goodbye. Um, and then what kind of advice would you give someone? Because you know, sometimes you're afraid, and uh, as we've seen through other shows, sometimes when you find it, it's not always sometimes positive. Sure, you sure. You have like, I don't know, Jack the Ripper in your family or something. <laughs> hopefully not, hopefully <laughs> not. Um, sometimes, you know, past can be different. Past can be scary. Um, maybe you don't want to look because you're scared of what you might find. Um, and we're not here to judge anybody. We're not here to be like, no, you can't research this house or you can't research this. Um, we're just here to help you with whatever your needs are as the public library. Um, we're just here to help you discover what you want to discover. And again, our experts are fantastic. We have both of these resources. We have many more resources online. Um, so if you just want to do research by yourself, you can also do that with your library card. You can go online, do the research, come into the library, look through the collections. There's not one answer to solve everything, and we totally understand that. Um, so we have a lot of different opportunities. This is just one of them. I love it. So we've got two folks being able to help you. Well, two organizations rather being able to help you. Yes. I don't need to bring anything per se, but if I do have some clues, yes. I can bring them. Of course. It is free. You need your library card. <laughs> and then the next event is when? Uh, October 16th is the next one. After that, it's October 30th and November 13th. Um, and the next one will be at BGSU, so it'll be there, and then it'll switch. So then it'll be at the library, and then the last one will be at BGSU again. And do I need to be from this area? No, of course not. Oh, no. thank goodness. <laughs> It's just like, what if I'm from like North Carolina or California, somewhere exciting? We can maybe help you find stuff. There you go. Okay, so there's always that option that's there. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Kelsey, thank you of so course, much. Of well, course. you've got your marching orders. You know what's about to happen. Check it out.